Hello, this is Sean again, and we're in part three of our three-part series, how to prepare your Adobe Premiere project um, for audio post collaboration. And we went through the timeline setup already, the video export. Now, um, now but not least, is the audio export portion. Um, probably the most important part of this aspect right here is actually naming your um, your tracks appropriately. So on this one I have boom audio, I have music, I have static audio, two pop, um, final sound. This gives, uh, when we export these tracks, this would give the audio post-production person an, an idea what's contained on those tracks. If you just have it listed as audio 1, audio 2, audio 3, the sound man is going to have to listen to each one of those tracks and to make sure that it's appropriate um, for those clips to be appropriate on that track. Um, you know, hard effects such as you know punching, um, car crashing, um, you know, foley should not all be on the same track. They should be all broken up on different tracks um, from dialogue. It should not over over on any means be on the same track as dialogue if you can all help it. Um, that's why labeling is the most important part of this process. So once you have everything labeled you want to try to make sure if you have dialogue from two different people in the same scene you try to break it down into two different tracks if that's a possible situation. Some people it is not possible because they're talking back and forth so quickly um, However, that does make the sound person's job a lot easier if you can do that. And let's just go ahead and say for the sake of being, it was not time possible to do that. So we're going to go ahead and go down to the next step. And we're going to go ahead and... Yes, I'm sorry, send to Adobe Audition. Um, if you don't have Adobe Audition, please bear with me. I'll provide a step for you at the very end. Um, but we'll assume most people have Adobe Audition installed with Adobe Premiere. So we have our sequence pulled up. We're going to go ahead and go to um, Edit, and then click on Edit in Adobe Audition, and then Sequence. And it's going to prompt you for a name. I'm going to call XYZ Project. OMF, and it's going to ask you where you'd like to save this project. Um, go ahead and click Browse and call it its own folder. Let's, I'm going to call it um, How To for this specific uh, test. Select the folder. Yeah, I'll we'll probably create the folder first. The selection, where it has the selection, I would recommend using the entire sequence and not just a work area. Um, this will prevent any accidentally looping, um, the loop being in the wrong place and not the entire sequence. So go ahead and use the entire sequence. For audio handles, try to use six seconds if possible. Sometimes you'll get an error, sometimes the file size will be too big, but try to use six seconds if po humanly possible. We want to uncheck export preview video, we need to uncheck render audio clip effects because we don't uh, want that for at this stage. We will uncheck send clip volume keyframe metadata, but we do want to check open in Adobe Audition. So we're going to click, click OK. It's going to prepare the sequence data. And it pulled up my other screens. I want to drag it. I'm going to bring it over. There we go. And now we have the project, just the audio, within Adobe Audition. And this, in general, if I wanted to work with an Adobe Audition, this would be a great way to do that. I don't, I want to collaborate with someone else. So let's go ahead and um, export this again from Adobe Audition into a standardized format. Uh, we're going to go to File, Export, and then OMF. And the file name is already set. The location, that's fine. That's where I want to know. But make sure this location, you know where it is, because this is the, where you're going to need to get this file to send to your, uh, your sound man. 
A sample type should be set to 48K mono 16-bit. The media should say encapsulated. Media format is AAF always. Trim audio files is fine. Handles. Now this may not be set right. If the handles aren't set right, change that. And you want to change that to six seconds. So six second handles. That's fixed. And now you want to click export. This will generate the OMF file. It's basically an audio session file that is cross-platform and it will be ready to be sent to your sound guy. Let's wait for this to be finished. Almost done and boom this project has been exported as an OMF. I'm gonna go ahead and close Adobe Edition. I'm not gonna say it for this. Well, let's just say you don't have Adobe Edition. You only invested in Premiere Pro and you'd still want to collaborate. Well, instead of going through the Adobe Edition workflow, you're literally going to export each individual um, track as a WAV file. So what I would recommend doing is muting each, tr I'm sorry, soloing each track and doing a WAV export and then naming, naming that export appropriately for which track it is. Now, some people will say, hey, Sean, well, well, you can actually do an OMF export directly from Adobe Premiere. I've tried this and I've had um, instances where it's been hit and miss, where it's very inconsistent. You can try it and see if it works. However, I've always found the Adobe Audition OMF to always work, to never mess up. This one, it messes up about 60 to 70% of the time and I just don't waste my time on it anymore. However, if you want to try it, go ahead and give it a whirl. Um, if it doesn't work for you, don't waste your time and just start exporting the tracks one at a time. Your sound guy um, will like that a lot better than having to have everything on just a single two-channel track. Um, that's all for this three-part series of you know, preparing your Adobe Premiere project to uh, collaborate with a audio post-production person. Um, we went over the timeline setup, the video export, and the audio export. I hope this has helped you um, understand uh, the process that a lot of editors have to go through. It seems long at first, but the total length of all these videos um, are probably less than 20 minutes. You could probably fly right through it once you get used to it. Um, I'll go ahead and include the instructions in the, uh, the description box. I'll include a Word doc for that. And I'm also going to be doing another series just like this, but for uh, Sony Vegas. That workflow will work for Sony Vegas Pro or the Platinum HD version. And uh, hopefully that will help people as well. Anyways, um, thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.